Hi everyone, it's Suzanne here and this is Sunday, April the 14th and I'm filming this for my Monday video because I wanted to go over the swaps that I received when I went to Vancouver for On Stage. <laughs> we were given a couple of fantastic little booklets. Um, you might know this one. <laughs> You've probably seen it all over the internet. It is our new annual catalog for uh, June 4th, 2019 to June 2nd, 2020. It's very exciting. I can't show you the inside, but what I can do is I can pull this up real close so that you can see that. And I'm gonna show you some of the samples as close as I can. So that is a new stamp, uh, actually it's a new suite, but, um, and it's all, it's covering this uh, page of the catalog or this, the cover of the catalog. There's dies that cut out the sailboats. You can see, set sails in the direction of your dreams. This is new navy trim and look at those trinkets right there. Yeah, fun. Uh, this is a die cut, this little thing here. And this is also a die cut, I believe. And real close, the um, lighthouse, the anchor. You are my true north for us Canadians, right? We love that. This is... Um, it's in the catalog, I can't remember what it's called. You have to forgive me for all the names. But anyway, this is the Magnolia Suite, I think. So these are our big top. I think they're gonna be really successful. I had to stop talking there, somebody, so I'm, I live right next to an elementary school and although it's Sunday, it actually is there's sports going on in a field across the road. <laughs> Someone's car alarm just went off. Okay, and then we got this. Now this is another stamp set in the catalog. Now I can't remember any of the names, it's a bird something. But if you take a, and I was fortunate enough to sit at center stage for my Silver Elite and Above dinner with the lady who created this. Um, she's got red hair and her name is Kristen, I think. And uh, yeah, so she helped with the design of this product and I thought it was just phenomenal. Like they did a really good job. And of course, creativity is calling. So just from that, those two books, I'm sure I have your attention. <laughs> Now, this was a placemat where when I went to dinner at Center Stage, look at these beautiful uh, magnolias. And I mean, I used to live in a basement suite and they had a magnolia tree. Certainly wasn't as beautiful as this flower. So um, I thought it would be better to look at this than look at that. So don't you agree? So you can enjoy these flowers as much as I can. I swiped it. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to share my swaps with you today. So I posted these on my Facebook page, the uh, make and takes. So this is a card that we made in the afternoon, I believe, at um, Stampin' Up! On Stage. And it is all about the paper pumpkin that is coming out in May. So one of the big announcements here was that um, the May paper pumpkin box is not only available for everybody who is in North America, but it will be in all the other markets as well. So that is super exciting because they, the European and South Pacific markets do not actually have paper pumpkin. So this will be a really good opportunity for them to try. So you can see how I did. I had a hard time with the uh, messy nest idea. <laughs> so I tied a bow. But um, yeah, so it's supposed to look like this. And this is a note card, three and a half by five. And look at the envelope. 
right? So cute. So I just wanted to make a note here that Shelly Gardner, who is the old CEO, she's a chair holder and she used to run Stampin' Up! Uh, before her daughter took over. This, it, this kit was designed by her or she worked with the design team, I should say. So that's very exciting. So it's got a lot of her favorite elements in it. So we concentrated on this Come Sail Away suite, uh, and it's pretty phenomenal. Here is the, this was, I think, my first card that I that I got to to do. So we have some watercolor paper here, we actually got an envelope for this one because again this one was a note and I just wanted to show you how we, because we didn't have die cuts uh, or uh, big shot machines at on stage you can see what we've done here this was um, a die cut that you could get in the suite and you will be able to purchase them when the new catalog comes out but um, yeah so we I just eliminated it and do you, I don't think it made anything different with the design I thought it was pretty good. So we had to fussy cut the um, lighthouse out and instead this was done with a everyday label punch here. And again, this is a beautiful paper. It's called the Come Sail Away With Me designer series paper. And these little trinkets, this was an anchor and there was also the steering wheel um, that is called Sail Away Trinkets. So, so this is featuring the bird ballot suite, ballad suite. And I thought well, I did pretty well with the design. So we colored with our Daffodil Delight blend markers. And this lace is called Very Vanilla Scalloped Lace Trim. And the stamp set is called Free as a Bird Stamp Set. Cute, hey? All right, so the next one is a, it's called Follow Your Art Suite. And it is really good. <laughs> the, the Follow Your Art Suite is phenomenal. So again, um, we colored with our blends markers. And whoops, I have a little bit of glue or something on the back. There it is. There's my version and there's their version. I didn't notice that these were cut off on an angle. So I, I missed out on that. And I think I over scribbled right there. You can see that <laughs> I do make mistakes. So I thought I did pretty well. This is the, um, the designer series paper. It has ribbon spools and buttons and bows. Very cute. The There's uh, some washi tape in this suite. It's called Follow Your Art Washi Tape. Really cool. And I think it's something, it's, one of the spools looks like this. So there's that card. And the last card that I'm going to share with you from our make and takes is featuring the perennial essence suite so they have uh, like vellum and like these perennial the floral centers interesting but i want you to pay close attention to the paper i don't think that picture does it any justice so i'm going to get real close up in here look it's so monet to me like this paper is gorgeous, gorgeous. Uh, this is vellum. And the one thing that we were noticing with the vellum is that it really doesn't like adhesive. So I think you're gonna have to, I was using dry glue. I think you're gonna have to use wet glue if you want it, but it's a thick vellum. But look at that paper. It is just gorgeous. And the, the, the entire paper, it's called Perennial Essence Designer Series Paper. It's beautiful. It's stunning. It's like an artist painted. It's very Monet. So if you at all like art, you're going to like that. Okay. So those were my make and takes. Now I'll have video number two. 
and I will have my team swaps. 